Bishop seek recognition? Strike the last word. The gentleman is recognized. You know, it's, I was just thinking, so I'm going to take up the gentleman from Rhode Island's uh, challenge. He, he just said that there's really not any significant constitutional issue at stake whatsoever, that the Constitution doesn't prohibit this. Um, it seems to me that um, you'd have to know, wouldn't you? I, mean, I looked at the majority guidance, staff guidance on this, and it has this one sentence about talking about some states having adopted bans on 18 to 20 year olds. Con, uh, if the gentleman will yield, I'm happy uh, to I, answer I, that. Had your time. Let me, let me speak to it for a minute so I can uh, thicken the plot just a minute, Mr. Cicilline. Uh, you said that, uh, or the majority guidance says, yet these laws, speaking of uh, bans in some states on, uh, on semi automatic rifles being banned to 18 to 20 year olds, so yet these laws have been challenged in the federal courts. They referenced two cases, didn't say anything else about it. Well, I decided to read them. And so the Jones versus Bonta case from the Ninth Circuit, one of the most liberal circuits in the country, federal case, just came down last month that said California's ban on the sale of centerfire of semi-automatic rifles to 18 to 20-year-olds violates the Constitution. It says that it goes through this long analysis of the history of the Second Amendment and says those rights to self-defense at the core of the Second Amendment, that 18 to 20-year-olds are covered by that right. They say, just like virtually every other, in fact, I think every other, right in the Bill of Rights applies to 18 to 20-year-olds. Uh, and, and there's another case. There's a case from the Fourth Circuit from where I come from. It was vacated for mootness after being issued, but it was an analysis of the federal uh, ban on sales of handguns to 18 to 20-year-olds. And it said this came to the same conclusion, that the Second Amendment applies. And even the dissenting judge there said, here the majority has done careful historical research and has assembled persuasive evidence that young adults aged 18 to 20 had Second Amendment rights at the time the amendment was ratified. So when we undertake to do something, in the words of the general lady from Texas, isn't it incumbent on the House Judiciary Committee to consider to evaluate what the Constitution allows Congress to do consistent with the supreme law of the land? So at least two parts of this proposed hodgepodge raise questions about constitutionality. The ban on the sale of semi-automatic rifles and shotguns to 18 to 20 year olds and also the provision about gun storage at home. Heller by the United States Supreme Court spoke to that. Why would there be no analysis or no consideration? But there's a willingness to just ram through this package, and the answer is, oh, we don't have any patience for you if you're objecting. The voices are raised. The accusations are made. Republicans are complicit. I can tell you this, and let me be clear. You are not going to bully your way into stripping Americans of fundamental rights. And it also, unfortunately, it follows a pattern that we've discussed before. Just a couple of weeks ago, you ran through a bill concerning amicus briefs in the Supreme Court that would require the disclosure of charitable organization donors in violation of their First Amendment rights of association. I pointed it out then, that you had attempted to do the same party, had attempted to do the same thing in 1958 in the NAACP case in Alabama, that you did the same thing, not coincidentally, in California, since we're talking about the California, uh, the Ninth Circuit decision, in another case involving Mr. Bonta, the attorney general out there, just last year, you, you just bl blundered right over that because you don't care. You're, you're, you're cavalier about the leak of the draft opinion from the Supreme Court. You want to pack the Supreme Court. It's not, that's if not the general yield, I'm happy to answer your question. Uh, uh, no, I think I've answered the question, but I'd be glad not to Not accurately. You, you, do you, are you, you're in the disregard what the Ninth Circuit has said the no, law I, of the I'm land I'm actually is? bound by the Supreme Court of the United States, and I'd like to read the quote to you, if you'll allow me, since you raised the question. I, look, I think the issue is what that Ninth Circuit case well, said. The, not, on the subject the United States Supreme Court takes precedence yield. over the Ninth Circuit. I don't yield. You'll have plenty of time. Is the, is a great quote. Your allies form mobs outside justices' homes. You say, you've, look, look, you've got to figure out something else other than stripping people of their constitutional rights. We've got to figure out something else, assuming that the majority entertains a discussion. But you cannot, the courts have made it pretty clear, you cannot deprive young adults 
any more than the remainder of Americans, of their core Second Amendment right to self-defense by the purchase and possession of weapons that are in common use and prevalent. And I'll say one, well, I'm out of time. The gentleman yields back. Uh, for what purposes, Ms. Dean, seek recognition? To strike the last word, Mr. Chairman. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I thank you 